the third question is regarding uh, what they call jarh wa ta'dil. Like many people nowadays, they'll tell you, I mean, I, I understand the concept, but the problem is some people, they just criticize everyone, like whether they are from the sunnah or not. And some just go by, on the other hand, some people will operate with from uh, uh, take the good and leave the bad. So, like, as as um, as a general person, like okay, common Muslim, like general Muslims, how do we know like which one? The kifl got you. Uh, last question about a concept of al jarh wa ta'dil. Jarh means that I criticize a person, showing the bad things of him. A ta'dil is praising someone to indicate that he's trustworthy. This concept was used by the scholars of hadith, like Imam Bukhari, like Imam Ahmad, Yahya ibn Ma'i, uh, uh, Al-Razi, Al-Qattan, etc. What do they do? They come to the narrators of the hadith, the chain of the narrators, and they tell us about a person. When he was born, how he acquired his hadith and knowledge, who are his shiuch, who are his students, and they tell us what grade is he. So is he premium grade? We can learn from him without any problem. So he's thiqatun adlun thabtun hafid. Or is he someone that was okay when reading from his books, but whenever he narrated something from his memory, then he was uh, uh, not that reliable because his memory wasn't that good? Or is he not to be trusted because he's, he was a man of innovation? He was a Rafidi, for example, or a Mu'tazili, or he was from the Khawarij, and he lied when he narrated the Hadith, etc. So they gave us a full portrait of these narrators of the Hadith. Lately, since the 90s, we have seen a surfacing of students of knowledge who wanted to implement this concept of al-jarh wa ta'deel on everybody. So anyone people learned from, they would do the jarh and ta'deel. Neglecting the fact that they themselves are not imams to be reckoned with. They don't have the righteousness and piety and fear of Allah like the, our predecessors. And they started having these criticism of anyone on the arena. And they started making noise. And if you look at what they give to the masses of the Muslims, you find zero, nothing. All what comes from them does not benefit the masses of the Muslims, does not teach the masses of the Muslims. All what they do is they criticize this scholar, this da'i, this mufti, this, this, and they just slander people, gossip about people, and they're like flies. They only see trash and they fall upon it and feed upon it. So even if a brother had spent all of his life teaching Islam, aqeedah, tafsir, fiqh, doing a wonderful job, and people are benefiting from him. This is we are about on 2001. He said so and so and so and so, and they caught a mistake he made. Okay, would you overlook the mistake, Akhi? Would you advise the brother between you and him? No, a mistake that was done publicly must be denounced publicly. Who said that, Akhi? This is a sin that you denounce publicly. A mistake is a mistake. We all are fallible. We're not perfect. So they continued to tarnish the reputation of everybody, which made doubts in the minds of the people like myself. Hmm, should I learn from Sheikh so-and-so? 
These guys say that he's an innovator, he's a hizbi, he's this, he's that. A'udhu billah. Okay. And we ended up thinking bad about everybody, except their four or five allama or samaha. And if you're not with them, then you're against them. And they will haunt you. And they will put you down if you don't acknowledge their shuyukh. Even their shuyukh themselves, who used to polish them and say that these are the uh, uh, people who would succeed our allama, once they had a fight with each other, they made him worse than a kafir, worse than Pharaoh, worse than Abu Jahl. They turned against one another. Akhi, they have occupied the Muslim ummah with their childish fights and falling on trash and feeding on it. So such jarh wa ta'deel is not to be taken from such people. Such people should be fought and neglected, ignored. And a dog that barks does not bite. Even if they claim they have good intentions, what they're doing is destroying the da'wah, making the masses hate hadith and hate the sunnah and hate the aqidah because of their actions and because of their bad attitude, which is something that is not from the sunnah of our, our Prophet ﷺ. This is not from the doing and the teaching of the Prophet ﷺ and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.